Wine Chinaman here, and today I'm out at a winery. And I thought it'd be a great time to go over a topic with you that I haven't done. And there's a wedding that's about to go on uh, down uh, the path a little ways. And so let's go for a little walk. Let's talk about China patterns. So when you get married, you register for your China pattern. But there's different types of patterns you can register for. I recommend that couples, when they get married, get two patterns. One is their everyday pattern, and one is their fine china pattern that they use for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all the holidays. The pattern that's going to make the family memories of get-togethers. You may have um, a smaller group of a wedding, which is in, actually very common these days. So you may only be able to register for the fine china pattern, and I recommend doing that one because then it's from uh, people who are special to you also. The other one, the, the casual everyday that you can just throw in the dishwasher that really doesn't uh, matter that much, that one just buy on your own. So as far as the fine china, uh, fine china one, there are some pitfalls that people run into when they are choosing their patterns. I'm not here to tell you which pattern to choose, I'm not here to tell you which company to buy from, or where it should be made, or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what I am here to show you, or tell you, is that there are some pitfalls that people run into. The one I've seen the most is that people tend to uh, go with a very modern, faddish style of China. And when you go with a fad, the fad runs out. And so, when the fad runs out, you're with China that's now out of date, that looks like, oh, it's, it's from the 80s, or it's from the 70s, or it's from the 90s. So what kind of China is that special China that would last the rest of your life? Well, a lot of them are classical patterns, patterns that have been around for a really long time. Royal Albert has many of them, for example. Uh, Spode has some as well. Those patterns that have stood the test of time that people have wanted in some case over a hundred years, other case for 30 or 40 years. Those patterns, uh, such as Old Country Roses is a great example from Royal Albert, is something that doesn't go out of style. It's just classic, it's always there. So I highly recommend a pattern like that. My wife and I chose the Lady Carlisle, and let me tell you a funny story about that. So when we were dating, we were engaged, I had seen Lady Carlisle before, and I really liked it. It's kind of a girly pattern though, but so I never justified buying any of it myself. But I really liked it, and so I told my fiance at the time, you know, I think I know a pattern you really like. And she said, well, you can show it to me, but that's my job to find our wedding china. So you can show it to me, I'll look at it, but I'm probably not gonna choose it. And so I said, okay, so I showed it to her, and then she, she kind of seemed a little upset. I said, what's wrong? I said, do you like it? And she said, that's the problem, I love it. You just chose our wedding china. And see, that's what you get for marrying the fine Chinaman, but enough of that. But anyway, what, uh, by choosing that pattern, we have enjoyed that pattern now for over 10 years. It's not out of style at all. It's still very active for sale. Uh, used prices are good on eBay. And it just was a really, really good decision. So just keep that in mind when you choose it. Um, people do mature or change, and sometimes it's not maturing, sometimes it's just changing. And you may find that uh, you really like something that you wouldn't have liked before. So um, keep that in mind. We tend to get a little more on the classical side as we age, and I've seen that with many couples. So anyway, again, just out here at the winery, having a great day. I don't know if you can hear the music starting for the wedding down there. Um, I'll see you in the next video.